Hi everyone. Welcome to this next part. So now we are going to demonstrate and look into the example of a simple linear regression. So at first we are going to look into a simple example and keep on adding more and more options into our direct procedure as we proceed. So in this example we want to use a simple data set that comes from SAS help library just to know a relationship between the weight and height. So first let us input the data set. So let us call this data set simple um, linear regression and we want to work with this data set that comes from this library SAS help and we want to use um, this data set class and let's say run so let us have a look at into how our data set looks like let's look into the variables into our data set so our data set includes the name the sex age height and weight so we want to look into the relationship between weight and height so if we look into the result look into the into this data set we can see that height and weight are both quantitative so we can use regression analysis which in this case it's simple linear regression to be able to determine the relationship between these two variables so let us see how can we use red procedure so SAS provide us with red procedure and we specify the data so in this case our data is going to be that one and then we have to specify the model so we specify model and if we can look here is that SAS actually tells us that is um, after the keyword model the dependent variable are specified followed by an equal sign and regressor variables which are the independent variables so that is exactly what we are going to do remember in this case we want to see how can we predict the weight if we know the height so what is our dependent variable our dependent variable is going to be what we want to predict which is the weight so we list weight and followed by an equal sign and what is it that we want to use or what will be our regressor or our independent variable is going to be height and it's height and then we just um, run this so let us observe so now we can observe that direct procedure will provide us with the name of the dependent variable in this case the name of the dependent variable is weight and we can see weight here let me quick zoom this right so the first table that we are seeing is an analysis of variant table and the result from this table first looking into the f statistic so looking into the f value so this f value which is 57.08 however if we look into it p value so the p value is less than 0 0.05 so what does this tells us so this indicates that the model it explains a significant portion of the variation in the data so we are well satisfied that all the conclusions that we will make from this model are well explained 
by the model. So we are saying that all the predictions or all the conclusions that we will make by making use of simple linear regression, we are explaining a significant portion of the variation into this data. So this model is a good fit for this data. And if we continue, we're looking into these two statistics, which is R squared and adjusted R squared. So these statistics, are you, both of them are used in assessing the fit of the model. So when we have a value that is close to one, it indicates also better fit. So in this case, we have a value that is 0 0.77. So how can we interpret R squared? So to interpret R squared, we say that the value, so the R squared, which is equal to 0 0.77, it indicates that height accounts for 77% of the variation in weight in our case. So R squared tells us it, it is the percentage of variation that is accounted for by the independent variable. So in this case, we say that height accounts for 77% of the variation in weight. Okay. Then following into the tables of result. So we are now just going to be going through each table. But as we go on, it's going to be more easier to even interpret or even the, 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 the residuals. But in this case, let's just, let's just look into the table. So let us look into parameter estimate. So we'll be able to interpret the model. So how can we interpret parameter estimate table? So first, these tables are actually the tables that will tell us the coefficients. So now, what can we say or how can we interpret the coefficients? So the coefficients tells us how much the dependent variable is expected to increase. That is if the coefficient is positive. So if the coefficient is positive, it tells us how much the dependent variable is expected to increase or decrease. So if it decreases, it means the coefficient is negative. So the coefficient will tell us how much the dependent variable is expected to increase or decrease when the independent variable increases by one unit. Now, taking into account what we have said and looking into the results that we have, so exactly the, our model is going to be first looking into the intercept, which is minus 143 plus 3.9. If we are rounding up, it's going to be 3.9 times height. So how can we interpret our model? So we say that the height is predicted to increase by 3.9 units when the weight goes up by one unit.